guys. So uh, basically what I'm doing right now is I got three hours of sleep. I just could not sleep. Partially because I'm actually thinking about trading in the old WRX because they uh, said that they're going to give me like full, full um, resale value for uh, basically what I paid for the car, which is really what they should because I barely put any miles on it and uh, I uh, bought four new tires for it bunch of upgrades you know I'm, I, I'm obviously basically I'm losing out on mods but I'm looking at the Genesis coupe because it's got really low miles it's only got 31,000 miles on it it's got a little bit of it's got a tiny bit of uh, like a scrape to the side of the uh, bottom passenger door which obviously is annoying but other than that it ran it ran fine uh, I couldn't it ran better than every other car that I've test drove and it honestly seems to handle even better than this car uh, even given it's all-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive and I honestly think that it's probably a little bit faster uh, even even with this tune that's negligible I'm not you know I'm not because I don't really like to launch this car anyway but you can launch those cars because you're not gonna be wearing out the clutch so it just it's scary to launch these cars it really is guys and I think that's what it comes down to um, I love zipping around town in it. Um, it it drives so flawlessly on the highway it's so smooth with these Neato tires on it but the Genesis is honestly it's more my style for the price range because it doesn't have a high markup value so for me getting into it and the low payments that I'm going to be making on it, even though I, I outright own this, but it's not doing me any justice because by outright owning a car, you're not building your credit. And that's not so much what I care about, is what I care about is that it's just losing value. And I want to try to get into something different simply because it's got more horsepower right off the bat. I don't have to really mod it. And I think I'm, I already picked out an exhaust though, obviously. So I'll probably only do a catback exhaust and new tires. And then um, I'm thinking about getting a wrap for the top, because it's white, which is like my least favorite color. But I drove the gray one, and if you see my previous posts, uh, the steering wheel wobbled on the highway. So I, that could have simply been uh, a tire imbalance, most likely, but it also could be something else. And I. I don't want to think about something else. I just want it to drive at least as well, if not better, than my car. Being a dedicated sports car, and it, it rides definitely like a sports car, so it's much more stiff. It handles better around corners than the WRX. I'm not going to lie, even with my rear sway bar upgrade. Now, if this thing had coilovers, that might be a different story. But right out of the gate, I'm going to take it for another test drive and I'm going to ask them if I can take it out by myself so I can, you know, at least comment and make videos about it. But um, if not, that's cool. I'll just report back when I get back from the test drive. But I need to test drive it one last time. Uh, let's get going. It's just right across the street, so that's another bonus. And they told me they were going to give me possibly $500 off because the tires that are on that car are H rated tires. Look at that sun blasting the camera. So technically the tires on that car are not properly even rated. Look at the sun guys. I don't know how it's why it's so bright. Hold on, let me fix this. There we go. Alright. So I don't know, that was very strange. The sun is in a very weird place. So, I'll let this guy go so I can talk a little longer. But I told, and of course they're coming right here, aren't they, yeah? So, the tires on there now are some Nanking bull crap. And I never really got to even open this car up many times. But when you do, it backfires. Uh, like, it, it gives the good backfire, you know, the pop will pops and cracks, I don't know, some people call it popcorn or whatever. I'll see if I can give you guys a quick uh, bubblegum thing here. Windows must be down. I'll turn the air off real quick because it is hot. Let's see if 
if I can give you a quick. Nice. It actually didn't. It did not give me pops and cracks that time. But that was some good speed because it is uh the car is not heat soaked or anything like that, so I got on a little bit there. Jeez. Sounds like I set someone's alarm. Oh no, that was just this car back here. Alright, so we're in the dealership now. I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. The tires are some Nankang crap. I looked up the ratings and they got terrible ratings. Some guy said the sidewall blew out on them. And I'm like, nah. Ooh, I, just, I did just get a little kick back there. Uh, where is the Genesis? There it is. I believe that is the Genesis right there. Yes, there. No, that is the Veloster. I don't see the car, which is strange. Great, watch someone on bought it already. I'll see where it is. I'll see what the scoop is. I'm gonna run in there real quick. Um. Anyways, not see now the thing's different now. So. So, look at around. They might have moved it, but it's not where it was. I'll tell you that right now. It was next to the Maserati uh, just the other day. And, uh, yeah, the tires uh, just weren't up to snuff. So I asked them, hey, give me like $500 down, uh, discount. And then I'll go buy like some Continental Extreme Contacts or whatever. So, and then I'll get like an exhaust for like... I found a CNT exhaust, which is actually really cheap for a catback. Unlike like a, because I didn't want to buy a thousand dollar exhaust because the stock exhaust, honestly, on the um, Genesis Coupe is, is good. I've seen people um, on YouTube go from the stock exhaust to say like a still in, and I like the stock exhaust better, and so did other people. So I didn't want to run into the scenario where like I get this thing installed and then I'm less happier. <laughs> which is a nightmare. Unlike my car, which is just dead silent when you get it, you know, from the factory. It's way too quiet, where mine's, you know, I made mine perfect. You get the downpipe, and any good old mufflers will sound good when you when you have your downpipe, so it is what it is, so I'm gonna get in there and uh, see what the scoop is on all this. All right, guys, so I'm at Navelton's right now, and, um, they want to add me. They want to slap me with some dealer fees, and I'm trying to get out of it. I said, take off $1,500 for the body damage and the tires and the dealer fees, basically. And I said, do that. I'm done. Let's do it. So we'll see what happens, and then my payment should be a little less, not much, maybe like $300. I'm only putting $4,000 down. Um, and then I'll have a nice $20,000 in the bank. So, sort of a win-win. And I like the car better than my WRX, to be honest with you guys. Um, I drove it, I got up on it. It will, it will get squirrely if you want it to. And it definitely needs better tires though, so I'm gonna have to order better tires. That's a guarantee. Um, th this car deserves better tires, not some H-rated Nankang. So, I'm so parked, I got three hours of sleep. I just, I was so nervous about today. You know, someone traded this in for like, probably thir 13 or 14 thousand dollars. I mean, honestly, there's no way that anybody traded this car in for like 14 thousand or 15 thousand. If they want like 16 thousand, somebody probably traded in for 13 thousand. That's my guess. Um, although I haven't looked up Blue Book. All right, guys. Um, well, my my experience here at uh, Napleton's Hyundai is not good. Uh, I met some nice people, and uh, there goes the white Genesis that I love, but it wasn't meant to be. That's all I have to think about. Cause they were, uh, they, they just were very, very, very stingy about everything. They didn't want to give me 
any discounts whatsoever. And it, it's just a waste of my time. Dealer fees, document fees, bullshit. some uh, muscle rage right now kicking I'm just not letting it come through because just give myself a migraine thinking about it all right guys so from the car to the house I'm back I'm done and I'm mad but I'm already actually not not as mad but I mean you know in hindsight I'm pretty pissed um, if you ever feel disrespected at a dealership just just leave just walk away you know you know, write some complaints, go online, you know, rag on them online or whatever. You know, it'll hurt them in the long run. Now, I can't say that I was treated really that terribly because the guy, the guy that I was actually talking to, the guys that I went on test drives with weren't the actual salesmen. They were just people that like go with you on test drives and talk about the car. And they're usually really cool. Both guys were cool. And the guy, and I actually, I do think the second guy was a salesman, but he was a very young salesman. He wasn't even in the typical, like, white tie uh, or white shirt, you know, tie d deal. And because he said he did do sales, but, you know, I think he was like, he took the people that maybe weren't quite as important, or maybe he just sold used cars, whereas some of the other guys sell the new cars. And, I mean, we're at a Hyundai dealership. This is not BMW. And the manager seems to think that he can get away with offering me $21,000 for a WRX, yet charging me $19,000 for a Genesis, a used Genesis, with more miles. So, there's like a $2,000 discrepancy there, but the WRX is going to have a higher resale value down the line versus the Genesis, which as soon as I drive off the lot, it's going to lose instant value, uh, especially in like another six months even with low miles um and I, I i you know i couldn't tell you why it drove fine and there's there was no rattles okay so here's the scoop after all said and done is the internet price that you see on car gurus is bullshit i hate to say it and that's more to do may, maybe that's more to do with dealerships maybe not a private dealer you know a private person um but, you know, it's just honestly dealing with the biggest problem with dealing with private selling is that you got to go to the DMV and you got to do a bunch of annoying crap that honestly, Napleton's made it seem like it's worse than it is. It's not that bad. I mean, you get a you get a you get a cashier's check from some guy. You go to the bank. You hand him the freaking title. I walked away. With, I walked away from the deal almost based on principle. 21000 for my car, okay, is insulting. That's one thing. But like I said, 
the car didn't have the proper tires and it had body damage. And I brought that up. Not only would they not discount that at all, they add $900 in dealer fees and document fees. Now the document fees is not the tag and all that crap because that's a whole different finance department that does that shit lickety split and that's all they do and it takes them no time at all. Because at Mercedes Benz I watched them do it. It's so quick, it's not a hassle, they just blah blah blah, here's your temp tag, you know, you'll know, you get your real one in the mail or whatever soon. Or, actually no, for me it's I, I'd simply transfer my plate to that car, no problem. It's easy. Um, and especially it's easy for them. They don't have to go to the DMV, but they act like that's a job. They act like that's a big deal. And the $900 dealership fee is bullshit. Everyone knows that. Um, I've seen even higher. I've seen a thousand. Um, you want a dealership to hopefully say no dealer fees. And you want them to honor that. And I didn't even think about it. I went in there. If I would have known that there was dealer fees, I would. I just would have instantly walked out the door. The problem is that I liked the car too much. I loved it. Um, I just love the way it handles. And I love the torque. I love the instant torque. My car does not have instant torque like this V6. Okay, This is more of average torque all the time. So it's linear. Mine will do it once the turbo kicks in, but you have to be getting on the car all the time. And then, and then that sort of defeats the purpose of having, like, like the WRXs, let's just be honest, are not no, known for having a nice linear power curve. It's more of like it peaks and then it dips. Like a lot of turbo cars, they peak and dip. This car just felt like torque, Just it just went. Just torque, non-stop. Um, if anything, it drops off, like up here, but it starts off torque, 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 and then it drops off in the high rev ranges. Even though they say that's where the most horsepower is, I believe after about 5,500, it's sort of a waste from from what I've read. But let's just get the, let's just get the brass text over with. I, was, I felt I was disrespected by the manager and the salesman tried his best, I'll be, I'll be honest. I drove my car up there dirty, it wasn't clean. I mean, but so what? I mean, I didn't clean it. It has, brand, it has practically brand new tires on it that have been rotated, they're, they're excellent in grip, way better than the tires that are on the Genesis, which were some Nanking, noble S garbage, H-rated trash, that like I got to, I was, I got to break the sidewalls when I was just accelerating. I heard squealing of tires going forward, which you all know that good tires um, won't squeal when you when you just go forward. They don't make noise. They just they just burn rubber. They don't actually squeal. So these are squealing already, and I could tell that like it just it wasn't handling how it should. And then I test drove the gray one, went around a corner, and those had Firehawks on them. The Indy 500 went around a corner. You could feel the end break loose real quick, and then it just it broke it broke away, and then came right back in, like like how a performance tire should. Whereas the other tire just went, eh, it just made no, it made no, it just it didn't know what to do. And I, I took traction control off, but I left stability on just to see, you know, no reason to take the stability control off. I don't think it because the traction control is off. Leave the stability on. That's fine. I think you should in those type of cars. Anyways, so long story short is I kept going back and forth about what I should do on price. And it's like, I told them you guys are getting a, a flawless WRX that needs nothing. You literally take it off my hands and it will sell. You don't need to put tires on it. You don't need to do anything to it and you don't even need to change the oil. With this car you're selling me for $2,000 less, supposedly, right? I need four tires and either I leave the crappy little rusty mark where it is or I get a body shop to fix it for who knows how much. I have no idea. So essentially, this 2013 car ends up being just as much 
as my trade-in. And I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it doesn't, it doesn't to me. Would the car have been worth what it was advertised for? Of course. Even if they would have given me 21 and not all their dealer fees and tax and bullshit, like which ended up, you know, adding up to like $3,000. Why don't I just charge them um, 3,000? Hey, I'll give you 21,000 for my car, but I'm going to charge you 3,000 for the mods. How about I do that? And then we'll sit down and then let's talk, you know? I offered, I said, hey, um, now this is before they gave me 21,000 for my car. They, I just said, you know what? How about you do this? Go to your manager, take $1,500 off for the body damage on the tires. And I said, the deal is done. Nope, can't do it. Tires are too expensive. You know dealerships get tires for cost. You, you know it. They probably spend... I'm just going to take a wild guess and say they spent 40%, 50% of what a tire costs. That came back no. Okay? So they wouldn't take $1,500 off. Which basically I just said, waive your stupid dealer fee and get in and waive tires. And, and that's not even the full price of the tires either. The tires were going to be more. What I was going to truly ask for if they said yes to this, I said, when the tires come, will you please mount and balance them for free? That would have been a no. Anyways. <clears throat> so once he came back, no, I said, okay, okay. How about this? Take your car to the service department and stick on the proper tires. Like, and this is not me picking out the tires that I want, like Continental, you know, the Extreme Contact or friggin' Michelin Pilot Sports or whatever. Just put on Y-rated summer tires. No. Nope. That'll cost too much. That will cost too much. Right. Right. <laughs> so... If you would have just waived your stupid dealer fees and even if they just waived the dealer fee, okay, waive the dealer fee, I might have done it. There is $900 that I just don't want to spend, okay? That's going to go towards the car, the tires. They would not budge on anything, so I left. Fuck it and fuck Napleton's. That's all I have to say. Um, and I'm gonna wrap this up, but I mean, now I want a Genesis now, and that's all I want. And if I don't get it, then I really, I don't know, because everything else I've driven is just trash. So, that's my video, guys. Peace out.